Good morning, my dear friends. Thank you so much for all the great responses I got from you uh, under the video um, Kinderland Crypto. Or what was it? A kindergarten crypto. Uh, it just, yeah, I got lots of support. Um, and I have the impression many of you guys that follow my work um, that are of high quality uh, post very little. Huh? comments and i totally understand that i also never or almost never post on other channels it's rare i do do it do it sometimes but it's rare so i understand that and and, and when you see that i'm frustrated with the quality of the comments you uh, you come uh, and, uh, and give me a word of courage so i really appreciate that thank you so much so back to business uh tesla is running away and that's uh, a difficult situation now when you buy when you buy a position i love to buy when prices go down uh that makes me happy to see my orders filled uh and and, and know that i pay a relatively cheap price but um when the price goes up i really hate that and i have to buy um chase the price but the big mistake would be to not do that because um uh <laughs> Yeah, it's a great long-term investment, and um, and 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 the potential here is a 10x. Uh, that that Tesla goes from the 200 US dollars to uh, 2,000 US dollars in only a couple of years, and that's the potential. Uh, and is that probable? I think it is probable uh, that we will see that happening. Um, uh, the price went down to 177 dollars, but then in two days or three days went up to the current. Two hundred five dollars, and well, maybe today it will go higher eh, uh, to two hundred fifteen dollars. And so, if you put your 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 orders, let's say at two hundred dollars now, it might never get filled eh, as the price goes up and up and up. So that's a difficult situation. But um, yeah, I, I'll, I'll I'll really uh, make an effort to buy my position. And how big is my position? It's just the cash that I have available. Huh? It doesn't matter how many shares I get for it. What matters is that all my cash is invested. So that's what I really am going to try to accomplish. Um, of course, at current prices, yeah, maybe I'll have to buy $210 for the next order and then maybe the next few days it goes back to 180 so that will be a losing position. Or it could go, we find a new low, eh? that's all possible. But for, for me, even though I do lose use leverage, I'm actually not leveraged. Everything I buy is backed with cash, and so if prices go down to $150 or, 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 or more, uh, I'm not going to be pushed out of my position. It's not very important. Um, what's important is that I buy at the current $200, because I think the odds are not high. We will see $150 or $90. I think it's only maybe a 10% chance for that. A uh, cool plane coming, but um, uh, 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 the chance is that it goes up from here, uh, and in one month, uh, two months, we're back at $250, and in one year, we're back at $400. I think that's like a 90% or an 80% chance, so that's why I think it's very important I take in my position today, and I don't try to buy cheaper, because there's only a 10 or 20% chance that I will be able to buy. I, I, of course, at $180, testing the bottom, that chance is actually pretty high. Let's call it 50% or 60%, let's say even 60%. But below the bottom uh, to a new low of 150, like I would not give that 60%, but maybe only 20%. And, and, and of course, um, I have to be careful. Um, yeah, testing the bottom, I, I give a higher probability because if you look back at the history of a Tesla stock, for example, when it makes, when it's crashing, uh, it, it doesn't come out in a V-shape. It, it it tends to test the bottom. That's why I give it a 60% chance. Um, but I think the most, uh, uh, well, what I do different from most investors is that I take a very big position in, for example, one stock like Tesla. Like my aim, I invested 30% with the rise, it's already 35%, but I'm aiming to be invested all my cash as about 52% of my portfolio in just one stock. Most people would find that overly risky. Mm. But to me, mm, 
Yeah, I don't find that uh, so risky um, because the risk reward ratio of Tesla is very good. Mm -hmm. There is there is a very low chance that it will go to zero. Uh, actually, that's like when less than one percent. Okay, there is a, a, a realistic probability that it fails the company. Um, um, yeah, uh, that can happen. It can go into a downward spiral um, because all these things are um, uh, um, uh, feedback mechanisms. Uh, like um, if, if, if people are afraid that the company doesn't have enough cash on hand, the uh, suppliers might want to have um, um, uh, uh, give less credit or um, want to have faster payments, uh, causing uh, cash on hand to be even lower. Um, um, uh, that might uh, give customers uh, doubts about buying the vehicle because if there's a, an exchange, uh, a risk for default, who's going to maintain the vehicle? So you have less sales. This can be a downward spiral. Uh, stock prices go down. That trigger um, margin calls maybe for certain kind of loans or uh, loans can't be paid back with stock but have to be paid back with cash um, like you can get into a downward spiral and of course that might cause the stock to go and the company to fail but of course since Tesla is such a strong proposition what would likely happen in such situations is that some big tech company would buy it out huh? uh, so so market cap of 35 billion or maybe it's 40 billion now there is a bottom there that i estimate to be only like at least to be 10 billion where someone will step in and buy uh, or, or make a very big investment and take a majority ownership or something like that's the bottom in my opinion so so if you look at what's the downward risk here yes it can go be good by two and worst case could by four from here but chances are very very low uh why uh, well, because the, the financial position of Tesla is actually very good. Um, this company, uh, this founder has a very good reputation. Elon Musk, even though he's controversial, uh, uh, smoking marijuana, uh, being in trouble with the SEC because of tweets and uh, like he's, he's not perfect, but um, uh, he can raise uh, and Tesla can raise capital easily on the markets um, and has just done so a month back, uh, raising another what was it, two billion or so, uh, but allowing them to um, um, not be in a, a tight position um, uh, financially uh, and not get into that um, dangerous uh, downward spiral. Uh, this was a problem indeed, uh, uh, only two months back, but that problem has been solved thanks to raising new capital. Mm. And of course, it has to be realized that the, the tight financial position is uh, is not because they or a uh, money losing company. Uh, no, they do have great profits on the product that they sell. Uh, for example, um, the, 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 the cars, uh, the, uh, for example, the Model S, uh, their, their, their flagship car, uh, selling for $100,000 or so. There is a big profit margin on that. Um, uh, so every car they sell, they make a nice profit. Of course, that's less the case with the newer models, Model 3 only selling for 40K. But what you see is that many people do take the option of, uh, uh, with options and it, and it ends up being 60K and, and then you do have a nice mo uh, profit margin on it also. Eh? But uh, okay, the base model 40K ha does not have profit anymore, but, but most people put expensive options on it. So um, they do make nice, nice uh, gross margins on their products, but they are investing and expanding a lot. And that's why um, uh, they are in a tight financial position sometimes. And that's why they burn cash. Um, but that's a good strategy because um, they could choose to not do that and to grow slower. Uh, and so they could say like, okay, let's not expand, for example, into China now. They built a Giga factory, it costs lots of money, I, I'm sure. Uh, uh, they could choose not to do that and then uh, uh, make less investments and grow slower and, uh, and wait for profits to come in and only ex uh, invest with profits. But that's not a good financial strategy because, well, they are after the golden goose and, uh, and they are doing a tremendous job. They are after different uh, golden gooses, eh? uh, being the, the market leader in, in, in the electrical vehicle uh, market. 
um, and being ahead of the of, of the competition and staying ahead of competition and even becoming uh, more competitive over time will reap huge rewards in the future because today like one percent of uh, cars is EVs but that will change very quickly as um, uh, the price of batteries and of these uh, electrical engines goes down the price of a vehicle an electrical vehicle goes down a lot and also the maintenance uh, of course uh, is very cheap uh, and, and and the durability is much better but the financial picture used to be of course with the model as the first vehicles is that yes it's a great car but Financially, uh, it's a very expensive proposition. It's not like you're going to make profit. It's uh, it's more like um, having the newest phone or something. Yes, it costs the most. It has the most features, but uh, but you're not going to save money. Uh, but where Elon Musk from the start uh, had the vision that actually we will come to a point where you're actually going to save money by choosing an EV instead of an ICE, uh, instead of an in elect internal uh, combustion engine. Uh, and that's what he's working for and so and he wants that market uh, and that's uh, rare that you have a, a market leader an innovator that also wants to be the uh, volume dominator huh? uh, like for example with Apple uh, was long time the innovator in tech but what you see is that they would stick to that segment where they sell the most expensive products um, uh, and uh, 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 but they don't sell the cheap products, so other com competitors can come in and basically offer a cheaper version like uh, Android and Samsung uh, uh, would do that with Apple and, and thereby taking the market over um, and Apple losing market share every year, uh, even though it was the inventor of the industry. This is something Elon Musk wants to avoid uh, by really also launching, the, uh, by really going uh, for being the first and the market leader with the cheaper volumes also the cheaper models uh, and that's what the model 3 is uh, it's uh, the first model that's considerably cheaper than the previous two models the model S and the model X were premium luxury cars uh, but but this model 3 is not um, it's more like a, a, a medium car and um, and so uh, but what you see is that they really do succeed in not only selling um, uh, the, the most um, vehicles, uh, like uh, they are a market leader in the amount of uh, vehicles that they sell, uh, but uh, in the amount of electrical vehicles sold, they are clearly the market leader more and more. Um, but also in, in, in the amount of dollars received uh, compared to the competition, uh, they are just, um, yeah becoming becoming more and more of a, a, a leader in the industry having more and more market share in the industry so um, uh, so they do tremendously well and I was watching another video I will link it but what's the value of of, 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 of a company that is already the the, the market leader in in a, in a segment today and um, uh, 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 and if you assume that this segment will become the new segment, will change today's segment. If you assume that EVs in like 20 years, 10 or 20 years, most people will drive an EV and not an ICE. What's the value of, of a company that's leading in that market segment? And, and, and this person in the video said he estimates the value today to be 100 billion. Today, huh? e even though if indeed that market leader stays the market leader, then today it's worth 100 billion mm. because he will grow a lot in 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 uh, in, in amount of sales and amount of uh, profits in in the future because EVs will be the future and, and that's what people will buy and so if you're a market leader today and you're not losing market share like you're clearly on top of it and you're very likely going to remain the market leader and nobody will beat you off that throne then today your value is 100 billion I, I, I would agree with that I would agree with that because there's always a price to pay like for example Toyota today is worth 200 billion and you can say huh, but why would you value a company that's selling like 10 or 100 times less cars a uh, hundred billion um, well because because you have to look ahead uh, when you make an investment the price you pay 
is not for what it is worth today, but what you think it will be worth in the future, that's part of the price. Um, that's why we pay so much money these days for crypto. Even though nobody uses it, we think that many people will use it in the future and therefore we're willing to pay extra money for it today. Um, uh, and the same is true for autonomous vehicles. If, if you if you check, because so many people in my comments and everywhere you see that they claim that, that Tesla is not the market leader in autonomous vehicles, but that's a lie, a straight lie. Hey, like, go to any dealership and ask to do a test drive and check the autonomous features uh, of a BMW or a, or a Ford or, 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 or whatever huh? um, and, and, and ask to test the, 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 the what the car can do on its own how the car can drive on its own without you having to do anything huh? like parking or driving on the highway or anything and um, you will see that without a doubt the Tesla car is miles ahead huh? it can actually drive its own uh, maybe sometimes you have to intervene but it's, it's almost driving fully on its own um, and the other cars are not even close. Huh? So, so Tesla is not only a market leader in electrical vehicles, it's also a market leader in autonomous driving. And uh, this also has a value because in the future, people will ask, will want an EV car because, well, it's much cheaper um, and much more clean, uh, but they will also want a autonomous vehicle um, because it has its high value that you don't have to drive. Um, in, in in many situations and you can do something else and it's also about extra safety like if the car can drive on its own it also also can save you uh, in, in very dangerous situations which the Tesla car is also miles ahead of the competition um, uh, so so these things will become important for people uh, the same that if you buy a phone today you don't want to just call no you want it to be a smartphone because it can do a lot more uh, it, it will be the same for cars in the future and um, there too, like, what's the value? If you have a market leader in autonomous driving today, um, and you assume that it will, and you also look at the market, like, is it losing leadership there or not? But if it's not, if it keeps its leadership, you assume that it will be the market leader also in 10 or 20 years of a market that will become much bigger. What's the value of that? The person in that video gave that a value of, a potential value of 200 billion but he said like he took only one percent uh, uh, to give to Tesla that's two billion as a valuation for that because it's uh, pie in the sky but that's not a correct reasoning in my opinion it's not pie in the sky it's already right here uh, you can already buy it so uh, that's not pie in the sky uh, that, that, that that's actually real value that you buy today if you buy Tesla as a stock uh, if you own a piece of that company, uh, you own a piece of the uh, autonomous future. And uh, what's the value of that? Well, I would say at least 10%, but uh, you could even give it 20%. So that I don't like that's easily adding another couple of tens of billions to the valuation. So basically, in my opinion today, Tesla is worth like 100 billion, even 150 billion, 200 billion. Even though uh, it is much smaller yeah, still than Toyota or or uh, or, or BMW or, or or and these car makers are indeed only worth 50 billion or, or 100 billion and 200 billion maximum for Toyota. Uh, so 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 even though Tesla is selling 100 times less cars and making 100 times less uh, uh, revenue, um, I do find it to be of the, of the same value because. Um, these other companies actually um yeah but that's another story uh, i find it of, of the same value because it's extremely likely that tesla will take a very very big share of all of them hmm? all of them hmm? um and will expand the market uh, a lot because um for example compare cell phone market with smartphone market do people spend more money today on phones than when than before when it was just a cell phone yes huh? uh, the phone has become a bigger expense item because people can do a lot more with it uh, and so they spend more money on it also and this will likely be the f case also for transport in the future um, uh, 
if you get lots more value for your transport or for a car that you buy you'll be willing to spend more money on it and so not only will Tesla likely take a very big piece of their market it will expand the market uh, and, uh, and and yeah make it a much bigger market so these were just some uh, opinions uh, of mine wh why I think yes you can buy at $210 or $220 even $230 it doesn't matter the most important thing is that you do buy today uh, because the potential here and the market will realize that over time because Tesla in contrast to crypto backs it up with real adoption eh? real adoption every year selling almost double as many cars uh, 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 that's real adoption seeing the Tesla drives come driving in your uh, community that's real adoption eh? in contrast to crypto where you see nothing really happening in your community like who starts to use crypto eh? no one really eh? but who starts to use a Tesla that's you can start to see that so uh, if it's backed with real adoption and real uh, profits and real um, a real um, uh, yeah, growth uh, then the stock market will follow and and all the footing and 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 and, and pessimism uh, has to go away because numbers are hard so 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 very likely over time uh, and, and Tesla doesn't need to do much just continue its growth path as it did in the past the the the, the, the valuation of that uh, stock will go up a lot and you have to think in in, in market cycles here uh, um, uh, many people think we will see a recession uh, but it's my opinion that um, the, the chances are low eh, because we went sideways for one year and a half since uh, January 2018 and if you have a recession it will happen after um, a rise huh? uh, 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 then you will have a collapse and a collapse that's strong and that leads to a recession and 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 a negative year for stock markets but if it starts to go down but then doesn't crash too much goes back up down back up and that's just, it ends up being a sideways movement it's not gonna suddenly then crash into a recession it can happen but that's rare that's not the structure usually of a um, of, of the stock market so um, uh, this is very likely just another uh, break in a, a multi-decade bull market uh, and it's not a, a recession break because of course it's going to happen also no it's just a sideways break like we saw also in 2015 2016 uh, maybe another one also started the bull market in 2009 so uh, but, but 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 there is a lot of fear there's a lot of uh, bearishness uh, stocks um, yeah so 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 I think it is a great entry here um, from a, a global uh, market perspective uh, just for stocks in general a great entry but especially for Tesla